Hi all folks, this is Max from um, eepadhacks.net. So today we're going to unroot our eepad transformer. Maybe you need to send it back to Asus, Asus, whatever you want to call it, uh, for warranty. I like to call it Asus. Anyway, uh, what you want to do, oh, check out my t-shirt by the way, it's cool. Huh? Get featured as Edel Max. Um, anyway, um, so to unroot it, you will need to know your version number, um, or if you have a US version or the world version. I don't have an unrooting method for any other versions. Um, but if you're in the US, you probably have the US version. Um, and if you're not in Japan, Germany, um, then you probably have the worldwide version. Um, you can check it by going to settings, um, about tablet, and you can see that I have version number um, oops US see AC don't worry about the HDK 75 US EPAD dash 8.6.5.13 um, so I have the US um, if, you, if you cannot check it let's say you accidentally bricked your whole device and the only thing you can't get into you can't even get into this um, then um, you can you probably still have clockwork mod recovery um, so what you can do is uh, hold down the volume down and the power button until it resets and gives you a little thing and then you gotta let go immediately so let go immediately when you see that and then hit volume up immediately and if you can get into clockwork mod recovery you're fine because um, you can just flash this unrooting files It'll get you back to um, 8.2.3, but you'll be fine. I have a worldwide, worldwide version and the US version, so download the appropriate one. And once you get in here, go to mounts and storage and hit the power button. And mount USB storage and hit the power button. And make sure you're, you, you have a micro SD card, otherwise, you know, you can't use it. Oh, sorry. Mount USB storage, hit the power button. Uh oh. What happened? Uh, video failed. Hold on. So, if you're on the latest uh, Clockwork 3.1 point, I think 1 point something, uh, I have instructions on my bl uh, blog, eepadhacks.net. You're supposed to update it to that because that one is um, made for this. The, the one that ships, uh, that's uh, rooted. Um, it doesn't. It has an older one. The reason is that the newer one has to be flashed from Clockwork Mod Recovery. But anyway, I can't mount anything because uh, this older one doesn't support mounting. Um, so that's the worst case that can happen to you, and you can't boot into your OS. But that's okay. That's why we have a micro SD card. Um, go buy a micro SD to like SD converter, and voila. And you can plug it this into your computer and put the unrooting files in here. Um, so this is the worst case, worst case. Or you can just mount it and copy it over. But but uh, let's go to our computer. I'm going to plug this into my computer and copy over the uh, unrooting files we need. Hi, all folks. So download transformer underscore 8.2.3.13 underscore US underscore update dot zip for US. And uh, for worldwide versions, don't get the WW. And I'm going to copy the US version, since that's what I have, into my SD card, which is the G drive. I use the uh, adapter. And also, you'll need the... Uh, I'll have links where you can get this. You'll need a 8239 US recovery. And this should work with uh, the worldwide version, too. And copy that one over, too. So there's two files to copy over. Next, uh, that's all copied over, so let me grab my SD card adapter, take it out, um, and put it in. And for those of you on the latest clock mod, you can do this straight off your uh, recovery. Ah, God. Alright, and let me adjust the camera here. And next, what we're going to do is, uh, we don't need this anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, you go to um, wipe, wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, say yes, hit the power button. 
Uh, it should take like three seconds. Maybe more. Oh, and you know what you can actually do? You can also load up Clockwork, the, the, the new one, copying it over to your micro SD. Ah, but it's okay. For our purposes, we don't need the new Clockwork. Uh, we just need to unroot it. So next, install zip from SD card, hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card, hit the power button. Um, well, it might be because I just inserted it. Uh, we can reboot and try again. It's because I took out the S micro SD card while in Clockwork Mode Recovery and it's re not remounting. So, um, hold down power button and the volume down. And we'll do this again. And then volume up. And let's go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, go find that uh, transformer underscore a.2.3.13 US update, hit the power button, say yes. And this will take a while, so I'll be back when this is done. Hi right, folks, so it's done and we should be back to a um, the older version of um, but it's still rooted, so reboot now, and it's going to go through some of its motions, um, update it, see it's going to go through that, so I'll be back when this reboots, and we're going to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and install some SU files, and we should be back to completely stock, unrooted, and you can also do a system update to get it to the latest update, so I'll be back. Hi all folks, so we're back. Um, so I've got it unrooted back to this thing here. We'll just skip it all. Um, I'll be back after I set this up. So I've got it, everything's kind of back to normal, um, but I still have root. You'll see that I still... Oh, do I not have root? Oh, I don't have root, but uh, root is gone now, but I need to get rid of um, the actual root in the system and also the clockwork mod recovery. Um, so we're going to go back into clockwork mod, volume down and the power button together. And then you'll see this screen and let go. And volume up. And then see we still get clockwork mod recovery. Um, so in this here we're going to go install zip from SD card, hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card, hit the power button. And then we're going to choose the 8239 US recovery, that's the stock recovery. Hit the power button, um, say yes. That should take like five seconds. And then we can, we can try rebooting into uh, recovery and we should get stock now. And no one's going to be able to tell now that you root it. Oh, well, actually, it's got to go through this first, sorry. Install that, and then we'll reboot one more time. And then try to get into uh, recovery. Volume down and power. All right. And there we go. We got the stock recovery. So that's how you unroot your um, E-pad back to completely stock and you can always reboot by holding down the power button and also you can update it to the latest 3.2.1 or whichever is the latest by going to um, settings about and system updates and that's it and don't forget to subscribe thanks actually let me show you um, how to do that go to settings about tablet system update check update Oops. oh see it's, it already says it's, there's an update um, hold on let me try that again oh let me show you the version number also sorry I'm getting tired it's my last video for the day so I got 8.2.3.13 and just make sure you're on good Wi-Fi and that should start oh there you go so it's doing firmware download and it's going to uh, 
upgrade to the next version so after that you can do another one and just do it until we get to the latest version so that's how you unroot it don't forget to subscribe see y'all later